Well, can Switzerland survive the economic crisis? Indeed, this is a very good question because so far Switzerland has been very successful. If we are looking at the numbers, they are all excellent. We have 3.1% in unemployment. The economy is still growing a little bit, 1.6%. Uh, very good number also on the balance of current account, plus 12% as a percentage of the GDP. This is one of the best one of the world and no inflation. So obviously, when you have such a good situation, you wonder why did this happen? I think the first reason is that Switzerland is still a very export-oriented country. And surprisingly enough, we did something right without really knowing it. In 1992, when uh, we decided not to go into the uh, European Union, a lot of the uh, entrepreneurs in Switzerland have thought, well, maybe if the European market is going to be close to us, we better look uh, elsewhere. And this elsewhere has been Asia, China, Brazil, Russia. And without really knowing it, we start to operate very much in countries with high growth rates, you know, 9% on China until recently. And this has really helped us to boost our export, also in luxury goods. And really, that was very positive for Switzerland. The second thing which really explained our success has been really the diversification of the Swiss uh, economy. When I go abroad, people are telling me, you are from Switzerland. Switzerland, this is chocolates and watches. I say, yes, but what about food? Oh, yes, you have Nestle. What about pharmaceutical? Oh, yes, you have Roche and Novartis. What about uh, engineering? Oh, yes, you have ABB, et cetera, et cetera. Actually, suddenly they discover that this is a very diversified economy and we do practically everything. The third thing is that Switzerland is, is still making something. I think uh, there is a big debate now uh, with the elections a bit everywhere in Europe, in the US, about reindustrialization, about the power of made in somewhere. And actually, we are still making a lot of things in, in Switzerland. And I think that one of the very interesting aspects of the Swiss economy is that it has not lost touch with manufacturing, with industry. Uh, our friends in the United Kingdom maybe have too much oriented their competitiveness on banking and services, and now they suffer very dearly about that. The four points, perhaps, in my opinion, is the one about the small and medium-sized enterprise. I think that Switzerland is a country where, of course, we have the very large one, the one, the big names that everybody knows. But there is a layer of medium-sized enterprises, which is probably around uh, 200 to 800 people. They are very much export-oriented, as I mentioned. They have a local technology. Uh, they are innovative. And I think that these industries, uh, these enterprises have really contributed to the success of the Swiss economy, as they have done, actually, with Germany. I mean, we, we look at Germany, the so-called Mittelstand, those enterprises in the middle, which are very powerful, very often, and sometimes we forget about it, they are family-owned. And also, 80% of them are in the countryside. When you are traveling from France to Germany, you are in France, in Jura, a wonderful valley full of trees, nobody. You cross the border, you go in Baden-Württemberg, wonderful valley full of trees. In addition, you have enterprises. And I think that the power of the small and medium-sized enterprise is something extremely critical and very um, centered to the competitiveness of Switzerland, Germany, but also Sweden. And perhaps the very last point, which is also important and very much in the debate today, is that Switzerland has succeeded to maintain uh, some kind of fiscal discipline, to maintain also a balanced budget. Uh, now everybody is speaking about the fiscal pact in Europe, about the necessity of austerity measures. Uh, sometimes I like to tell our foreign friends, you know, we have been living in austerity measures since the past 10 years, because 10 years ago we introduced some rules in the government, in the parliament, just to make sure that we were not overshooting on the budget and that we could keep our debt at an acceptable level. Today, it is 38% of the GDP, which is definitely a very good number if we compare with the 100% of the United States of America or the 86% of France. Now, the question is, of course, the future. Can we sustain the success story? I think that uh, the first question mark is obviously, can you be successful alone? I mean, we are very much depending about the neighboring countries, France, Germany, and the rest. And uh, if uh, Europe is in a small recession, as we think it is now, it could be a bit more difficult. And the second real question mark is the mindset. Complacency and arrogance have been a very big problem in Switzerland. Sometimes we believe that we are so good that nothing can happen to us. I think we paid a dear price on this complacency 
and arrogance in the 90s. We still pay a dear price of it in the banking sector. I think this is probably what we have to be very careful about. Let's remain modest, let's do our work, and then I think the success of Switzerland can be sustainable.